Little Tahiti offers you the most beautiful and impressive places worth exploiting. Why visit Tahiti? Tahiti offers all the ingredients for the perfect honeymoon destination, miles of coastline, hundreds of resorts, and delectable French cuisine. But beachgoers frequently choose the white beaches of Bora Bora over Tahiti's sands. Tahiti is less of a romantic vacation and more of an off-the-beaten-path stop, despite its gorgeous reputation and accessibility. That said, Tahiti shouldn't be disregarded. French crepes are served with Tahiti and Poisson Cru, raw fish, and leafy trees sit next to sandy beaches. Tahiti is the place that best captures the lovely contrast of the French Polynesian archipelago. Here, the unaltered natural beauty of the island coexists with the eccentric, frequently chaotic environment of Papeete, the island's capital. Tahiti, the biggest of the 118 islands that make up French Polynesia, is frequently referred to as two different islands even though they are actually connected by a thin land bridge. Papeete is located in Tahiti Nui's larger, northern region. Although Tahiti Iti, the smaller part, is less accessible, many tourists make the journey here to experience seclusion. Just keep in mind that spending a week in either region of Tahiti will be rather expensive. Despite being less accessible, many tourists make the journey to Tahiti Iti, the smaller side, to experience tranquility. Just keep in mind that spending a week in either area of Tahiti will set you back a sizable sum of money. However, tourists concur that the warm waters, the lush jungles, and the opulent resorts are worth the extra expense. Things to do in Tahiti One of the best ways to spend a Tahitian vacation is to lie back with a tropical cocktail in hand and bask in the sunshine at your resort of choice. You can also swim, snorkel, surf and more at La Plage de Maui or Papa New Beach. To take in the incredible natural landscapes, hop a ferry to Maria or explore the Vipahai Gardens. But if you're itching for a different kind of adventure, you can hike to the gushing Fatawa waterfall or shop for souvenirs in the bustling capital city of Papeete. La Plage de Maui La Plage de Maui's pearly white sand stands out among the island's beaches, which often have a volcanic black tinge and is the main reason so many Tahitian tourists choose to visit this section of coastline. Located on Tahiti's southern coast, the lagoon's bright, warm waters are another draw. Visitors claim the lagoon is shallow and peaceful, and the water is astonishingly clear. The beach's snack bar, meanwhile, is incredibly well-liked by tourists and serves up fresh fish. When you arrive at La Plage de Maui, which is roughly 40 kilometers southeast of Papeete, you'll understand why so many people make the trek. Tahitian roads and passengers can be unpredictable, so be cautious to drive carefully. Fatawa Waterfall For the Fatawa Waterfall alone, you might really prefer traveling to Tahiti during the wet season because the waterfall is more impressive with more rain. This natural wonder, which is situated in the lush Fatawa Valley, has dazzling water that flows into a sizable pool. You'll need to climb for quite a while to get to the waterfall, and it's definitely best to go with a tour group or guide, your hotel or rental host should be able to provide you information about local guides. If you are prone to mosquito bites, bring some insect repellent with you because the annoying bugs are prevalent close to the falls. If you choose to go it alone, you must pay 645 French Polynesian francs, about $7, to the Papayete Town Hall for a permission. The trailhead is not far from the center of Papayete, so after you get the permit, ask the salesperson to send you in the right direction. Papa New Beach A relic of the island's volcanic past can be found on the coasts of Papa New, a little town a little more than five miles east of Papayete. Due to its proximity to a road, the Punawai Beach is also known as the PK-18 Beach and has ebony sands that extend into the South Pacific's crystal-clear seas. The best part about this beach is that it doesn't attract nearly as many visitors as La Plage de Maui on Tahiti Iti. Despite this, you will have to contend with the island's surfing community for waves. Although the beach itself doesn't have many amenities, you shouldn't have any trouble finding something to eat in town. From Papeete, one may simply take a cab or a car to Papa New, which is situated on Tahiti's northern shore. We don't charge you to come here at any time 
but you should make plans with your taxi driver for when you want to leave. Traveling in Tahiti Taxis and rental cars are the best modes of transportation in Tahiti. A rental car is a fantastic choice if you intend to travel around the island quite a bit. Another means of transportation is a bicycle. You must schedule a boat or flight to travel to other French Polynesian islands. The majority of visitors land at FAAA International Airport, PPT, which is located three miles from Papete's capital. You can board a public bus or a taxi to get to your destination if a representative from your hotel isn't picking you up at the airport. Taxi Taxis are a pretty pricey way to travel about the island, as you might expect. But if you're in a bind, they might be a good choice. They can be seen lining up in Papete's center Valma and at the airport. They're also reachable by street hail. For just a few miles, you'll have to spend about 3,000 French Polynesian francs, about $33. Car You might want your own set of wheels if you plan to remain on the island for longer than a few days and want to explore it. Both the airport and the capital city of Papi provide automobile rental services. There are automobile rental agencies run by Avis, Europacar, and Hertz in Tahiti. There is no requirement for an international driver's license in Tahiti. Top Seasons to Visit Tahiti The months of May through October are the ideal times to visit Tahiti. Tahiti has warm, year-round temperatures, however the winter months are less humid. There are just two distinct seasons in Tahiti, while summer, which runs from November through April, may be rather hot and humid, particularly December, not to mention wet, winter provides less rain and mild temperatures. However, you can count on expensive hotel costs whenever you travel. See you next time. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe.